But if they don't, you need to cash out your back bet. And then essentially what you've done there is you've managed to back and lay and it's just a completely risk-free trade and that is then going to enable you to get on more two-up matches. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how you can get on more matches for the Bet365 two-up strategy. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris and the regulars here know that I've got the Profit Boss Match Bet in Facebook group you can join. I've also got the Telegram group you can join which I share which two up bets I'm getting on and that's completely free to join. No subscription fees like some people might charge. And I also do the live stream here five nights a week at 7pm as well as daily uploads on everything to do with helping you make more money with match betting. But that's enough about me plugging all the value that I give on this channel. What you've clicked on this video for is to find out how you can get on more matches with uh, Bet365 to early payout offer so that you can potentially make more money with the offer. Because at the end of the day, the more matches that you can get on with a very, very low qualifying losses, the more money you can make each month with it. The Bet365 to up strategy is, in my opinion, the only way you can make money betting on football. And I think that when you try and just pick teams at random and you're not doing match betting and you're just picking teams, that's of course just gambling and you're never ever going to win in the long run doing that. But with this strategy, you really guarantee the profit in the long run. And if you don't know exactly how the strategy works, maybe you've clicked on this video, you have no idea what I'm even talking about. Check out this video I did here, which has helped loads of different people that have clicked on it and they're now making money doing this strategy. So if it's so good, why isn't everyone doing the two-up strategy? Well, that's because when you just bet on football without doing any match betting, it's quite easy, isn't it? And people do it for fun. They want to pick their either their favorite teams or teams that they think are going to win, like they've maybe seen them playing well and then they want to pick them to win because they just have a good feeling about it. Well, getting bets on two-ups is more technical because you've got to set things up so that you know when to place those bets and how to play them so that you can make sure that you make money in the long run. So let me now show you on the laptop that when you've got Odds Monkey, which is, you know, the people that know about match betting, and if you're a regular subscriber, you've probably got Odds Monkey already, but you can set this, uh, what's called the Odds Matter up to actually, so you go onto the filter here, and on the side, you can actually select, they have a pre-made one, which uh, I don't recommend using as the pre-made one because it brings literally every two-up match up, and it's not really the best way to do that. For example, this one at the top, which is betting on uh, Sevilla Atletico, uh, odds are 1.5. That's an odds on team. And you wouldn't, I wouldn't take that match rating at 97.45 because it's just you, the chances are if that team goes two goals ahead, they're probably not going to throw the, the match away and end in a draw for you to make you profit. So I wouldn't take that much of a qualifying loss on it. But what I've set up is my own filters, which... Uh, if you want to check out this video, that's where I talk about my exact two-up strategy, how I've set the filters up, and you know how, how I'm doing everything to do with it. But this video is specifically about how to get on more two-ups. Now, the problem is when you get these emails through, which, so for example, here, there's one, uh, so betting on Genoa, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it, and that's an odds match of 98.68 with back odds of 3.75 and lay odds of 3.8. Now, that's a really good match. But the only problem with that is because other people have got this email, and as you can see here, uh, total email sent from this alert, 6,094. So that just shows you how much I've been doing this strategy and the fact that I've made thousands of pounds from doing it for so long. Uh, I can say that it definitely works. But as I say, the, the one problem with it is other people get the email and they will then go over to the uh, betting exchange. So they'll go over here to Smarkets, which I've, I've got an example here of the Man City Tottenham match uh, that's going to play today, uh, which I'll be able to show you what I mean by this, how to get on more matches. But people go on to Smarkets and then they would search that uh, Genoa, um, you know, the lay odds for it at 3.8. They'll get their lay bets on and then you then struggle to get your lays on because the odds have changed. The odds have gone too high. You can no longer get on it with a 98.68 match. But what the strategy I want to tell you about here is, so the, the great example I had, so I had an email that came through saying, get on Tottenham. As you can see there, uh, Tottenham odds of 9.5, right? 
So 9.5, and then the lay odds were actually uh, 10 when I checked, 10.0. Now, the email was saying, back them at 9.5, and then lay them at 9.8. And I actually told everyone, uh, there's over 300 people now in the Telegram uh, alerts group, which is awesome. But I actually told everyone in the uh, Telegram alerts group, like, this is what I'm doing. I've put a back bet on at 9.5. I've laid it, uh, requested the lay, because like, as you can see here on the right, there's one here which hasn't uh, properly laid yet. It's uh, When it's in red, it hasn't fully matched. But that matches until uh, later next week, so what will happen is it will match as more people bet on it. But yeah, I told people, like, look, I've, I've, be I've laid this bet, uh, odds are 9.8, and what I'm looking to see what will happen is those odds are 10 at the moment, of course, on the screen now, the 10.5. But the odds are 10, and if they then drop down, because on the graph here, look, this is how you study it. So you look at this graph, so Tottenham is in the green here, and you look at the green line, and as you can see, um, so under here where it says 10.5, you put your mouse on the screen and it shows 9.8, then it went back to 10, then it's to 10.5, 10.5, 10, and, and now, it's, now it's going between 10 and 10.5. Well, the reason why I requested 9.8 is because it was going between 10 and 9.8. Well, now, because it's gone up and it's going between 10 and 10.5, I actually placed a uh, back bet of £50 pounds at 9.5, and then I requested the lay at 9.8. Now, because the odds have gone the wrong way and they've actually gone up, what I did was I just went back to bet 365, and I, I just cashed out. You can cash out of your... So if I show you uh, what bets I've got on at the moment here. So here we have uh, Sevilla at the top here. So I've got £100 on Sevilla and then there's a few others as well. But you can actually see that I could cash that out and get all of my money back. So by doing that, you've you sort of got your back bet on and that's completely risk-free because you can get that money back but the layouts are requested. So if the layouts drop quick, that will mean that it will match and then you're on that match for a, uh, you know, for the right price that you need it to be. Now, because they've gone up, I've obviously got my money back and what will happen now, more than likely, if those layouts continue to, and the back odds at markets continue to go up for Tottenham, uh, maybe like usually, so this match is at half five, so an hour before the match, they bring out the uh, team news and show tell you what teams are, are going to be fielded for that match. Well, if Man City uh, statistically field a stronger team and Tottenham maybe don't do you know don't feel as strong a team, then those back and layouts on markets will go up. And what will happen is the um, the cash out option at Bet three six five will no longer be you won't be able to get your money back. So you need to cash that out um, normally. I would leave that on and wait for half an hour to see if that's going to uh, go the correct way and match your bet. But if they don't, you need to cash out your back bet. And then essentially what you've done there is you've managed to back and lay and it's just a completely risk-free trade and that is then going to enable you to get on more two-up matches. So I hope you found that helpful and useful to help you get on more two-up matches with Bet365. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever to do with it, of course, ask me on the live stream. As I say, five nights a week, 7 p.m. I'm here to answer all your match betting questions with my main goal to grow this YouTube channel to be the biggest match betting YouTube channel on the platform in order to just help people get into match betting and make money each month with it. Thank you very much for watching then and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.